At, at the end of the book on the Magnificent Ambersons that I wrote for the BFI Film Classics series, I have some reflections on the connection between loss and cinema. Uh, and that seems to me a, a really important relationship, the whole preserving of life aspect of film. Uh, and I think we feel the importance of it in part through the attachment that we can have to actors and characters in, in, in movies, uh, whether we saw them yesterday or 30 years ago. Uh, for me, Cary Grant, Thelma Ritter, uh, Adele Sandrock are very present, uh, present uh, characters, phenomena at any rate, uh, beings, uh, although all of them are now dead. Um, I hope I haven't named any living people. Uh, and uh, that, uh, it seems to me, that vi vital to our experience of film is the sense of it as something that comes from the past, uh, e even, in, even in a film that was made three weeks ago. Um, and, and that it is preserving the life of things to the degree to which they can be preserved, which is a very imperfect degree. They are actually lost, uh, but they are apparently preserved. And that in itself generates emotion, which is, I think, a large part of the subject of vertigo, for instance. Uh, so there's another dimension, though, to... to this uh, perhaps nostalgic aspect, which is a desire to do honour to the achievements of the great filmmakers, and that I don't mean only film authors, film actors, f film designers uh, also count, I think, a lot in this. Um, so a desire to do honour, for instance, to Barbara Stanwyck and Cary Grant, uh, as well as to Alfred Hitchcock, Max Ophels, uh, and Orson Welles, and Savita. I guess it is that one wants, one wants the value of the work, not just the work, the value of the work, not to be lost sight of. So in that sense, writing a work of criticism is reminding people of the life of this film. Uh, and so the... Um, my sense is that one, uh, one writes out of, a out of a desire to find the articulation of the value of the experience that the film gives one.